now to a story that is incredibly inspiring. The Queensland doctor helping people with spinal injuries while dealing with his own. He is a quadriplegic, but he says that is no reason at all to hold back at work or in life in general. Our reporter Sophie Upcroft went along to meet him. Hey Wilfred, how are you? Good to see you today. Oh, a bit of a run in with the truck, eh? Hey? <laughs> All right, can I have a look at you, Wilfred? Just give you a quick look over and we'll try and get you home. Just a couple of deep breaths for me. Meet Dinesh, a doctor working in the busiest emergency department in the country. But he isn't your average doctor. Eight years ago, Dinesh's car aquaplaned and rolled multiple times, changing his life forever. I was on the top of the world enjoying the outdoors, you know, travelling and things like that. So then suddenly, in a matter of seconds, just to become paralysed and not be able to use your fingers and legs and things like that, it was a bit of a shock. Um, and it took a long time to adjust and come back to life. After a seven-month stay in hospital and three years recovering, Dinesh returned to medical school to finish as the first quadriplegic doctor in Queensland and just the second in Australia. It's been an incredible journey of recovery. Were there ever any moments when you doubted yourself? Even when I was in the ambulance from the accident scene, going to the hospital, um, I was talking to the doctor in the ambulance and I was talking about medical school and how I was going to get back to it. But not everyone was as optimistic as Dinesh. There were times when a lot of people had to chat to me and said, you know, you should think about doing something different with your life because it's going to be really, really hard. And even some of my friends that I think said it out of love for me. It came to this point when I was like, I will regret it for the left rest of my life if I don't give this a shot. And I just came back. And every day comes with a new set of challenges for Dinesh. I'm on antibiotics right now because I have an infection. Um, I struggle to breathe all the time because my lungs don't work properly. There are all these risks that people face every single day that can kill you just outside the paralysis. You've just mentioned a few of the obstacles that you face in everyday life. Yeah. How does that affect your work here at the hospital? Well, I've taken like one sick day. I think that, okay, well, I'm paralysed, so it'd have to be something pretty damn bad to keep me from work. In a big, busy emergency department with lots of staff, like, his value is enormous. And, you know, he's on night duty, on lates, on days, the same as, like, all the other staff. And you don't actually realise after a while you forget about his disability and look at his go forward, and he's, Dinesh is just the guy in the wheelchair doing all the work. Hey, John, how are you? Good, how are you? How do patients usually receive you? You know, I've never, ever, not once, which even surprises me, had a patient that reacted oddly to me being their doctor. How did you find his care? Yeah, good. He's a good all-rounder. Dinesh is so determined to walk again that he is putting his brain and body to work on research aiming to repair the spinal cord. Some of the things we're doing is uh, using brain waves to move limbs and having people think about moving their legs and we bypass the spinal cord and make that happen. Some of the early science shows that it rewires the spinal cord and helps people move again voluntarily. So some really exciting cutting edge stuff. On top of all that, he's also started a charity. We've created a group called Doctors with Disabilities Australia. And our goal really is to make medicine more inclusive and make it accessible to everyone. So I say, just forget about the limits that you have in your mind and just give it a shot. What a guy. Fair dinkum. Isn't that what some people are doing? There's the future Australian of the year right there. Yeah. yeah. Cool. One of those stories where you're inspired by it, but you also feel like, wow. Yeah. What are, all, what, what are the rest of us doing while, while this bloke well, is kicking goals? As we've been talking saying. about Stephen Hawking this morning, it's another reminder to look beyond mm. physical disability because there yeah. is no limit to your intellect and to what can be achieved, even under those circumstances. Mm. Um, and by the way, huge progress is being made in this country by researchers and scientists, by the Perry Cross Spinal Re Research Foundation, yeah. uh, to raise money and to, uh, to cure paralysis. Mm. So we are getting closer and closer to that day. Yeah. I, I love how he said thing. as well, he said, look, some of the people who, who warned him off it to say, look, maybe you should mm. find another path, were his friends. Mm. Yes. So yeah. sometimes people say that out of, in, you know, of good intentions because yeah. they kind of think, listen, mate, maybe you're setting yourself up for failure. They here. Un mm. underestimated his grit. But he just kept mm. on pushing through. Yeah, Dr. Wonderful Dinesh, story. good man. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing your story with us.